start today's program, we're going to give you just time enough to run to the phone and call up your neighbor or raise the window high and yell to her and tell her that Hank Williams is on the air again. Here he is, Hank Williams! Yes, sir! Thank you kindly, Mr. Turner. Indeed. Welcome, friends and neighbors, to the Health and Happiness Show. We hope everybody's got their health and feeling off the happy today. All aboard myself, we are all sprouted up here. We're ready. There's a little tune we get an awful lot of requests for. I've been looking through the mail. A lot of folks want me to dedicate this one to this one and that one and the other one. I wrote this, but I didn't write it for no special somebody. I just wrote it to be writing something. The title of it is, If You'll Mind Your Business, Then You Won't Be Minding Mine. <laughs> we'd like to say to all you people, thanks for all your nice cards and letters and for your interest in the show here. Looking through the mail, we keep getting requests for this song, and I reckon this next to Love Sick Blues, this is the top one. We've got a sight for you this, this morning. We hope you'll enjoy it. It's a tune called Wedding Bells Will Never Ring for Me.
gonna do in the back of the hymn. There's a song I'd like to do about mama. One of these mama songs are always mighty good. Here's an awful sad one. I recorded this. I'd love it is I just told mama goodbye. <laughs> It looks like that clock has done played a trick on us again. It's done run all the way around there and then used up every bit of our time. I'd like to say thanks to all you neighbors for your nice charging letters. We always take it to death to hear from you. Let us know what you want to hear on the show here, and we'll be glad to put it on. This is Hank Williams speaking for all the boys and myself, saying thanks a lot for listening. If the good Lord's are willing and the creeks don't rise, we'll see you for long. Until then, Jerry, let's go see Sally Good. <laughs> song that I wrote, I got a habit of singing a lot of them I wrote in it. Here it is. <laughs> One I wrote about two or three years ago. The title of it is, I Can't Get You Off My Mind.
thing. I got a bunch of notes. I'll be done with it pretty quick. Did you with the horn pipe there, huh? You, you got two or three pulse off of it, didn't you, there, didn't you, Gussie? Not much. <laughs> Friends, it's him time again on the Health and Happiness Show. There's one that says more than any song I think I ever heard. Like for just three words. The title of it is, Thy Burdens Are Greater Than Mine.
burdens are greater than mine. Folks, we'd like to say to all you neighbors, thanks a lot for all the nice cards and letters. Keep sending them in to us here. To Hank Williams and all the boys here at the Health and Happiness Show. We'd like to say thanks to you. A lot of you neighbors have been writing in wanting me to tell you who the boys are in the band here. Some of you want to know. I'd like to point them out to you here. I'll tell you which one is which. The boy with the fiddle is Jerry Rivers. The boy with the big bass fiddle is Ellis Buttram. Boy with a two-neck biscuit board there with electric contraption hooked to it is Don Helms. Over here, the boy with a little bit of hair and a big guitar, electric guitar, is Robert McNett, the pride of Roaring Branch, Pennsylvania. That's where he comes from, all the way from up there. Friends, it looks like we've been here about as long as they're going to let us stay. We're going to have to go. This is Hank Williams speaking for all the boys. Myself saying best of luck and health to you. Thanks for listening. The good Lord's willing in the creeks to rise. Home. Again for long. Yeah, a couple weeks. Until then, Jerry, let's go see Sally Good. She likes to sing. It's always fair weather when good fellas like this get together.
drop in on another little visit with you along about this same time of day. And here is the fellow that always makes these programs worthwhile, our old friend, Hank Williams. Thank you, Grant. Thank you a lot. Welcome, friends and neighbors, to another Health and Happiness show. Hope you're feeling awfully good today. Start off with a little tune of mine that I wrote here a while back. Hope you've heard it. It's called Mansion on the History. <laughs> Friends, right now we want you to listen for just a minute here. We've got some mighty good news. Be right back with you in a minute. All right, we are going to go on again. We got another little tune here that we think you might like. We hope so. We like this one an awful lot. I had the pleasure of writing this one too. <laughs> Number entitled, There Be No Teardrops Tonight. That wrong is right. You're 
Judge Clark has done, done it again. He's come all the way around there and caught up with us. That means we're going to have to leave you for now, but we'll be back. So this is Hank Williams saying, if the good lords are willing and the creeks don't rise, we'll see you for long. In the meantime, Jerry, let's go see Sally Good. Huh? Start off here with a little tune, another one of mine that I wrote a few years ago. Used to live for the railroad track down in Alabama, listen to this train come by, and so I wrote a song. 
poem about it. Here it is, the Pan American. to love sick blue.
clouds and skies That's how I count them We're just keeping time Ticket to Tulsa. Crazy is a drink off the wagon. Ten thousand skies. Ten thousand skies. All that I'm asking is just one more. Dennis, this is off of uh, this is the opening song off of the album called Unfamiliar Moon. I'm glad you folks are here. It's numbers night. No promises. Could make me smarter. He 
said he'd have me talking just like Stephen Hawking, writing songs like A.P. Carter. Rule number one about traps and learn. Turn your back on the beat when you barter. So I thanked him twice and said that's very nice, but I think I'll just stay a slow starter. Oh, bless all the ships at sea. all the good things that make their way back to me. Bless all the stars and how far they fell from the wind and the snow and the rain and the sun. Oh, what the hell? God bless everyone. I could be my father's most favorite child. I could be angry and broken and wild But I stand here before you the one on the file Cause I refuse to choose between them Getting quite good at riding this fence It's the one thing I do that makes any damn sense And I'll take the old man's recompense He stay buried where I don't have to see him Oh, bless all the ships at sea all the good things that make their way back to me. Bless all the mountains and the spies and the trees and the spiders with webs that have yet to be spun. Oh, what the hell? God bless everyone. Why not? Why not? There goes your dream of being a spy Where the violins are trilling and you're squinting one eye And aim and you're shooting your waist the bad guy Now you're shaking and stirred from your ledger Cause you traded your gun and your waterproof tux For shopping lists held up by daisies and ducks On a frigidaire covered with artwork that sucks Made by children you love beyond the ledger Oh, oh bless all the ships at sea birds and the bees and the children with their scuffed up knees and playing in the sun. Oh, what the hell? God bless everyone. Welcome, everybody, to, uh, I don't know which one this is, 56, and I'll keep doing them until we can play live. That's all I got to say about the disease and everything. That's how that works. Uh, I'm going to be here. Uh, you can be here, too, and uh, you can be here for free. You can, you can just show up. I'm happy to have you just hanging out. Uh, you could send a donation to, to pay some mortgage, or you can just hang out here and be whoever you are and thank you for showing up to the pajama party with vance gilbert that's me i'm expecting some new people to drop by maybe because i played a show last night private show for the folks from um, jonathan colton cruise the joko cruise and uh that was fun oh <gasps> sarah ford is here holy smokes oh my goodness my sarah ford she's like a daughter to me i love her uh we need to be in touch sister girl um, when the world gets well, we'll go for Chinese. That would be great. I'm so glad you're here. Yay, yippee, skippy. Um, I'm going to out Sarah. Oh, my God. Sarah came to a show. Uh, so it was some years back, and she came, and she took me aside. She says, I want to support making your new album. And she, like, handed me this handful of money. And it was just so kind. You're just she was just good people, and we hit it off and became uh, good friends. And uh, yeah, it was a good show last night. It was a lot of fun. It kind of warmed up for tonight now, because I sang a night ago, and I've been singing well. Knock on, definitely knocking on wood. 
But tonight is numbers night. Um, I'll do the commercial later as to who we do donate for. But it's the Massachusetts COVID-19 fund because uh, a little bit spooked about the uh, variants and all that stuff. And we should still be sort of um, cognizant of what's going on. So um, let's just uh, keep ourselves in mind. Take care of each other. That's all I'm asking for. Uh, the lovely Lisa Jeanette uh, has put together a whole sheet of songs that have uh, numbers in them, not necessarily counting. I was thinking of trying to do this uh, starting from one and going up to the largest number I can. Um, but that's not going to work because I, uh, that's just not going to work. So uh, I'm just going to play. This has a number in it. I was such a strange boy 40 years or so back then Fat with big thick old glasses I had trouble making friends Cruising through my neighborhood Could easily have come to no good end Till I stumbled into the workshops of old white men Call your mother, you can say That's about all they'd ever say they take the lid off of some old wooden box And inside was legend Made of string and spring wood and glue Right then and there I'm sure I knew First hand the raw ingredients of old white man Old white man Get teary -eyed December 7th Old white man Salute every flag they see, oh white man. Didn't care how cool I could be. A drop of glue will do the helping man. Put the cap on when you're through, said old white man. It was all ball peen hammers and calipers, dovetail joints and acetone. Printed circuits, screws and spokes and wheels. The difference between truth and opinion. When you're old enough, be sure you vote. And never trust a woman wearing more than three inch heels. Oh, white men, living cross cut chainsaw lives. Oh, white men, they don't talk back to their wives. Old white Thanks to them, I can sharpen your kitchen knives with a stone. Sometimes when I'm alone, I wonder what became of old white men. Do they synchronize their watches as on and on time marches? Do their belts need extra notches as their waistlines go bigger around? Call their wives up often, and I carry their husbands' coffins as these gray hairs of my own chase me down. Over the years, I outgrew my awkward situation. I went to college, joined the cause, became the black man I never was. And over the years, I learned to view. Oh, white men with suspicion Cause I'd heard the world was run to ruin by old white men Last Thursday I was hunched over A brig in Stratton Moor Trying to adjust the carburetor When this kid come bending my ear Always bugging me when I'm working So I said, make yourself seem useful, son Clean the carpet off that spark plug, wipe it down And the 
standing here. Old white men, look me squarely in the eyes, old white men. They look right past my skin, old white men. I can hear them all so clearly. Are you gonna just stand there with that Santa block, son? We'll make it so these pieces fit again. This song has the biggest number in it. Karen Schneiderman, I hope you're feeling better. We go by 31,000 miles an hour. All that's left us of these pictures of where we've been. It's been years since we knew gravitational slingshot. We've used up all of our plans. Our friends, they think that together we hum both the moon and the stars. They see us in orbit, admiring our closeness. But what they don't see this space in between us the millions of miles that defy diagnosis we were like rockets all anticipation countdown and fire our making love left us breath and the rest was our atmosphere and if we were braver we just fly by like voyagers but our greatest intentions leaves us sharing couple slices and a beer one day I swear I'll just fire up these engines and be well past Alpha Century before you even notice but what would we do this space in between us the millions of miles that defy diagnosis good to hear you Polly good to see you never went in for moonlit skies I never went back at fireflies but now that the stars are in your eyes I'm beginning to see the light I never went in for afterglow 
a candlelight on the mistletoe. But now that you turn the lights down low, I'm beginning to see the light. Used to ramble through the park, shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came and caused a spark that set up a fire. Now I never made love by lantern shine, never saw rainbows in my own wine. But now that your lips are burning, mine I'm boogin' in the single light daytime. Used to ramble through the park, shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came and caused a spark and a form of fire. Now I never made love by light and shine. I never saw rainbows in my mind. But now that your lips are burning mine, I'm beginning to see the light. Oh yeah, beginning to see, beginning to see. I don't know if Dick is here tonight, but Dick, if you're listening, this is for you. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now, will you still be sending me a valentine, a birthday greetings bottle of wine? If I've been out till a quarter to three, would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64 You'll be older too And if you say the word Demanding a fuse when your lights have gone. You can knit the sweater by the fireside. Sunday mornings go for a ride. Doing the garden, digging the weeds. Who could ask for more? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. We could never rent a cottage in the Isle of Wight if it's not too dear. We shall scrimp and say Grandchildren on your knee Vera, Chuck, Tyrone, Lucretia, and Dave Send me a postcard, drop me a line, stating point of view. You can take precisely what you mean to say. You're sincerely wasting away. Give me your answer, fill in a form, mine forevermore. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64, oh yeah, when I'm 64.
There you go, Dick. I'm going to try this one. Uh, I had never heard of it until uh, this afternoon. Um... This is for you too, Dick. In the corner of the bar, there stands a jukebox. With the best country music, old and new. You can hear your five selections for a quarter. Someone else's songs when yours are through. I got good Kentucky whiskey on the counter, and my friends around to help me ease the pain. Till some button. Pushing cowboy plays that old love song. Here I am, just missing you again. Please, Mister, please don't play B17. It was our love song. You know what I mean. I don't ever want to hear that song again. If I had a dime for every time that I held you, though you're far away, you've been so close to me. I could swear I'd be the richest boy in Nashville. Maybe even in the state of Tennessee. But I guess I'd better get my poor self together. Cause when you left. You didn't leave too much behind. Just a note that said I'm sorry by your picture, and a song that's weighing heavy on my mind. Please, Mister, please don't play. There you go, Dick. You got two for one. Uh, one of them I actually knew. This one I've never played. But that's a nice lyric, though. You can sing anything today. It's a country lyric. Country lyrics, you can sing any music, too. Uh, pretty much. Sending me this. That's cool.
Eliza Jane, of all the things your daddy said, and some of them were so cruel, one of them was true, he said we wouldn't last, because it was so hard. Oh, Eliza Jane, say so long to your trust fund as you slammed the door and swore you'd never see them again. Narrow-minded, white, and unenlightened is what you said. Now you and your pride live on the east side in a furnished fourth-floor room, and the rent is due. Oh, Eliza Jane, it was you and I, holding hands black and white, and looking like a Unitarian Christmas card. It loses all its luster long before the 25th, because it's been so hard Oh, Eliza Jane What hair you didn't cut Or perm you had braided back Hoping your predetermined genetic situation Might be mistaken for being black Oh, Eliza Jane Friends from private school thought it was the coolest thing. My friends reminded me that no amount of cream in my coffee would turn it to a glass of milk. Now sisters roll their eyes and suck their teeth and rednecks shake their heads in total disbelief at us. Oh, Eliza James, you and I holding hands black and white and looking like a Unitarian Christmas card that's prematurely torn and tossed beneath the tree because it's been so hard. Eliza Jane, one night I heard you pray this color crazy world to go away. But it's too late, the canvas is painted on, all the pretty colors gone, and there's nothing left to say. So I left you with two children we thought would fix it all with eyes like yours and hair like mine. Oh, Eliza Jane, it was you and I Holding hands black and white And looking like a Unitarian Christmas card It loses all its luster long before the holidays Because it's been so hard It's been so hard Anne's asking, what does a Unitarian Christmas card look like? Yeah, Unitarian Christmas cards are usually, you know, the black hand holding the white hand or the hands, uh, you know, with the wrists of different colors and everything. That's what a Unitarian Christmas card looks like. Yeah, it's quite the metaphor. I'm pretty proud of that one. Um, yeah, some some people have been annoyed. Why are you pick on Unitarians? It's like, why, why, why would I pick on Unitarians? <clears throat> Why wouldn't I pick on Unitarians? I'm Unitarian myself for the most part, kind of. <laughs> this is not a speaker. That's an inside joke. 
Yeah, they do have uh, messages of peace and unity. But, you know, what do you get when you cross a Unitarian and a Jehovah's Witness? Um, somebody who comes knocking on your door has no idea why. So, you know, good people. Good people, though. Um, uh, boy, let me do a little commercial here. 10% uh, of tonight's takings um, will go to the Massachusetts COVID-19 Relief Fund. And it supports people across the state most impacted by the COVID-19 health crisis, uh, focusing on essential frontline workers and vulnerable populations. Uh, I gave to them about a year ago, and I'm doing it again now. Rather than casting a line and fishing, fishing, fishing all the time for a brand new uh, bunch of people to uh, give money to, uh, those of you who are new to me and what I do, uh, I figured this would be an, an okay way to pay my mortgage. And, uh, you know, with the tips and such that you folks so uh, lovingly uh, shoot my way. But at the same time, there's always someone that is uh, worse off than I am. Most for certainly uh, people who are uh, gig workers and um, the impoverished. And uh, and uh, if there's going to be someone less off than I am, well, by golly, I'm going to give them some of what I have. Because that's what uh, the Judeo-Buddhist Christian human thing to do is uh, when you're not conquering one place or another you give alms and you you help others next to you that's what i do that's what i'm about that's what i'm going to do and uh that's why uh, again uh 10 percent is usually more than that um i shoot to some organization or another and tonight it's the massachusetts covid 19 relief fund and um yeah so that's uh that's where i'm at uh This one's loaded with numbers. Goodbye, Pluto. So long to your tradition and your solo life's ambition of just whirling around the sun. Goodbye, Pluto. Being number nine was nice. Till you lost your planetary status Now you're simply rocking ice There are eight that spin before you And they use up all the rays That the sun gives to her children To turn the night to day So goodbye Pluto I know it doesn't seem quite fair Three thousand million miles away And God just leaves you there and I think I understand when the spin gets out of hand sometimes all that's left is how to say goodbye goodbye Pluto all this bidding you would do Ah, but both of us know better That your orbiting ain't through Never mind them, Pluto With one roll around the sun Two hundred fifty years go by And when that year is done By that time, Pluto They'll be dead and gone to dust Taking their equations with them their opinions gone to rust and I think I understand when the spin gets out of hand sometimes all that's left is how to say goodbye
by old me. You were useful while you lasted. Now I'm dropping off that bastard that kept springtime out of reach. Farewell, you old familiar. As you track your way through space, there comes a time when all of us are done and get replaced. So goodbye, Pluto. You'll be salty for a while. But a couple trips around old Sol and you'll be back in style and I think I understand when the spin gets out of hand sometimes all that's left is how to say goodbye. Sometimes all that's left is how to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, Once a planet, always a planet. No taking it back. Marilyn, you're here. I'll get you your recording tomorrow, I promise. a question for you people um i kind of half joked about it because i've been listening to it so much i was thinking about doing a whole album called blue two where i cover top to bottom all the songs on joni mitchell's blue album and uh i thought the hardest thing would be trying to come up with a guitar part for um uh uh, what's the name of the tune that I was working on? Uh, it's here somewhere. Um, I was trying to come up with a guitar part for All I Want. And I was like, how do you do that? Because she's playing it on dulcimer. And then I, I figured out... going to be able to knock that out but uh the hardest thing was trying to figure out what i do with my old man that's how I, that came to that was song number two and i was trying to figure out how do i sing that and make it seem for real because uh my old man how, how do i sing my old man she's you know i could sing it from the point of view of a gay man or i just like to sing with authenticity and uh you know, yeah, it's, uh, James Taylor gets away with singing Mill Worker from a, a woman's point of view. And um, uh, I do something from a woman's point of view. What song do I do that's from a woman's point of view? And I managed to pull it off. But this is, uh, this is very intimate. And I just i am looking for a way to kind of own it. And I'm not sure if I want to change it to... My old man is a singer. In the, I'm an old man. I'm a singer in the park. I'm a walker in the rain, I'm a dancer in the dark. I don't need no piece of paper from the city hall. It, that would just be inauthentic. And it makes me think, uh, I'm not, I'm just, it's not a matter of how, it's uh, my old white man. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure out a way to, uh, to make that, uh, make that work. So I don't have anything. So, um. If you guys come up with any ideas, let me know. Let me know. Um, a Gilligan. What are your numbers in Gilligan? My old plan. I love it. You knew the, your new one with all the words is from the woman's point of view. Yeah, it is. But I want to do a Joni Mitchell album. I can't put that on a Joni Mitchell album. Damn, Amber. I can't. Uh, my woman. I'm an old man. I don't want to mess with her lyrics so much. 
And he plays in the park, and he don't need no piece of paper. Just say, oh, I got my pig nose amp and my guitar. Yeah. That'd be just kind of stupid, I guess. Uh, uh, somebody asked for something. I don't know if there's any numbers in this. Why wouldn't it work from a gay man's point of view? It would. I already do a case of you, and I got that one down. It would work from a gay man's point of view, but I'm not a gay man, because so I don't feel like I can really own that the way I want to. It's like a white guy singing old white men. Watch the waves go in and out like some eternal chore. I understand the habit as they break upon the shore. Keep this lonely vigil so my heart won't break no more. Waiting for the guy. Days turn into weeks, and the weeks turn into years, and there's some that say I'm crazy when they see me sitting here. Tell all who would commit me, I know what to commit me. Waiting for the guy. The short wave has been broken down for years, but I'm missing with much more than just my ears. Kids and captains now and most have come and gone On motorboats and sailing ships with cargoes of their own But my fingers crossed with every ship that makes the trip back home I'm waiting for the telegram Practice makes me perfect, well I think I've got it down After 30 years I'm waiting for a man who's not around Saving gold was made of gold and I would wear that Come home to me, then I'll go out to meet him when they bury me at sea. Then we will be together, and I'll no longer be waiting for Gilligan. You tell Ginger Mrs. How and Mary Ann, I'll always. Good choice. I didn't realize there was some numbers in that. <laughs> There's good numbers in that song.
Down the street you can hear him scream, you're a disgrace as he slams the door in his drunken face and he stands outside. And all the neighbors start to gossip and drool. He cries, oh girl, you must be mad. What happened to the sweet love you and me had? Gets the door he leans. Starts a scene, his tears fall and burn the garden green. And those castles made of sand melts into the sea eventually. Young Indian brave, for he was ten, playing war games in the woods with his Indian friends, and he built a dream that when he grew up. Be a fearless warrior, Indian chief. Many moons passed, and the dream grew strong. Till tomorrow, he would sing his first war song and fight his first battle. But something went wrong. A surprise attack killed him in his sleep that night. And those castles made of sand falls into the sea eventually. Eventually Was a young girl whose heart was a frown, but she was crippled for life and couldn't speak a sound. So she hoped and prayed that she would stop living. But yet she decided to die. She drew her chair up to the edge of the shore, smiled down at her legs, saying, "You won't hurt me no more." But a sight she'd never seen before made her jump and say, "Hey, look! There's a golden winged ship passing by." And it really didn't have to stop, it just kept on going. And those castles made of sand melt into the sea eventually. Those castles made of sand melts and falls and flows into the sea eventually. Just when a love got lost, you said that you were constant as a northern star. I said, constantly in the darkness, where's that? And if you want me, I'll be in the bar. On the back of a cartoon coaster in a blue screen with a TV light. Map of Canada, oh Canada. Oh. With your face sketched on it twice. You're in my blood like holy wine. Love so bitter, baby, but oh so sweet. I could drink a case of you. I'll be home and I'd still be on my feet I would still be on my feet I 
I am just a lonely painter and I live here in this box of paints. I'm frightened by the devil and I'm drawn to those who ain't afraid. I remember when you told me you said that love was touching souls and show me you touch mine. Cause Part of you comes out of me in these lines from time to time. You're in my blood like holy wine. Love so bitter, baby, but oh, so sweet. I could drink a case of you, darling, and I'd still be on my feet. I would still be on my feet. I met a man with a mouth like yours. He knew each one of your deeds and he said, Go to her. Stay with her if you can, but brother, be prepared to bleed. You're in my holy wine, love so bitter, bitter, but oh, so sweet. I could drink a case of you, and I'd still be on my feet. I would still be on my feet I would still be on my feet you Drink a whole case of you You can live on pie and whiskey you surely won't live too long What is as sweet as your very first kiss The other gonna go down strong oh, Neither one will sustain you But the other make it very lame and go wrong and whiskey drink the day don't bump up but you sure they won't be too long you can sing yourself a lullaby like your mama sang to you hers was just like a ring and a bell yours is like a worn out shoe had a voice just like honey yours just like leather nails and blue you can sing yourself a lullaby like your mama said to you yeah now Yesterday has come and gone Hijack the pie and the whiskey Kidnap your mama's soul Oh, but worn out shoes Wait for walking to your bed 
took a good walk and goes, you ain't gonna be here long. You can cry, cry, cry like no tomorrow. You can sing yourself a lullaby. You can live on pie. You can live on pie. You can live on pie and whiskey, but you surely won't live too long. You can live on pie and gummy bears and that poor restaurant and drinking it all night long. Surely won't live too long. Hey, yeah. This tune was composed by Spencer DeVore. As valued a man as ever left home. And he'd been much reduced, it didn't cause great confusion. That was the reason he started to roam. Between Yorkshire and Rotterdam, he'd been on the ramble. Weary of traveling, he sat down to rest. By the foot of young mountain lies a clear flowing fountain. With bread and fresh water, himself did refresh. Night fast approaching to the woods he resorted. Would find an ivy his bed for to make. But he dreamt of outside lamenting and crying. Go home to your family and rambling for say. It was the 5th of November day to remember when first he came home to his family and friends they that said so astounded surprised and dumbfounded to see such a stranger again in their sight his children gathered round him with their true fiddle rattling stories Riddle prattling stories to drive care away. Now he's as happy as those of a thousand creatures. Content to remain and not ramble away. This tune was composed by Spencer the Rover. Value to man as ever left home, and he'd been much reduced and caused great confusion. And that was the reason he started to roam. There I was, working at the window, turning pennies and paychecks into savings and loans. I reached for the ceiling, she said, the gun's quite loaded. Fill the back up with big bills and I'll be gone. Caught her eyes underneath the bandana. Wow, this fire, 
that's when I fell in love. Everybody lay down, count to a hundred. Except for you, boy, cause I'm taking you hostage. What's that I feel? Tree mushroom blades, like ice cold steel. She explained it was a pound of prevention. Sixteen ounces of cure for this hard work. Sixteen ounces of cure for this heart Do as I tell you, you'll be alright Don't try nothing funny, I'll let you stay alive A woman like you, you seem so bright Why you wanna lead a life of crime? Tried it your way, but I got burned I thought I had a job and a good man, I but I had a lot to learn. Found quickly the real road to success, sense of security is all wrapped up in his ear. What's that I feel now? Between my shoulder blades, like ice cold steel, she explained it was a pound of prevention. Sixteen ounces of fuel for this hard work. Sixteen ounces of cue for this hard work. Yeah. Hot water Chevy. She worked so fast, I swear to God, she did it with just one hand. Blue lights flashing in the rearview mirror. We took the back roads and we lost the train. Deserted rest stops somewhere on the highway. She taped my ankles and then she tied my hands. Gun to motor, blew me her kiss. Sped off into the sunset, never to be seen again. Finally got myself untied Cause I sat both upright Cause by my side was a bang Roll of thousand dollar bills on the ground She stole my heart away But she left me here with this here Pound of prevention Sixteen ounces of cure for this hard world this hard None of my business, you shouldn't have to ride. Someone who cares enough should drive you. That's what I'd say, but I'm just a boy on a train. Sometimes I'm lost in the pickety class. Houses slip by my window 
One could be mine, you could be waiting there. I could be covered in your kisses. That's what I'd say, but I'm just a boy on a train. Every so often you carry a light green bag. Once on a Thursday you smiled at me Then we'd have coffee Then we'd have children Then we have Main Street Thank you, Conductor, for your timely warning That the doors have closed I miss my stop and I'm late again Soon to be reprimanded And if I'm fired I'll ever so kindly reply Do what you must for I'm resilient Cause I've seen a face so shining and brilliant that I've been a king if just for one moment. One moment of fame for a boy on a train. I love that song too, Tommy. And it's just, uh, it's a sweet, sweet thing for me to be able to play and write. Uh, it's uh, kind of the top of my game. Off Salinas, on your knees in the bucket of his boat Where you keep that lovely figure With your finger down your throat And all I ever wanted was this song here that I wrote Cousin Shelley's station wagon and you We were wise as sideways glances and all staying up as dawn Making love in that old Chevy Parked on Cousin Shelly lawn Now you're pretty well past 50 And your tooth enamel's gone And I know I'll never get this message through To you I've seen you work your magic up on the silver screen play the part of the mother of the girl you used to be it wasn't the auditions that took you away from me we just drifted apart hollywood philadelphia Shelly died like 10 and 11 years ago And I traded in that wagon 
for a minivan when mileage so low you'd swear I drove it off the lot brand spanking new but it's a 92 and goddamn this computer you can look up anything it's like potato chips or crack with its addictive wiring Shut it down, the screen goes black, and I'll remember singing in Cousin Shelley's station wagon with you. much of a backstory to cousin Shelley uh, uh Karen I, I made it up I made it up uh, somebody does a search and finds out somebody that they went to school with got famous and paid the price and um yeah I made that one up I just made that up I wonder, wonder what that would be like uh, um I love that I love playing that tune uh, uh, the cross between the sweetness of Louis Armstrong and James Taylor <laughs> that is the sweetest, sweetest sounding thing. Oh my God. That's so great. James Taylor and Louis Armstrong. What would that sound like? James Taylor meets Louis Armstrong. This morning, and I wrote down this song. Just can't remember who to send it to. Lord, I seen fire, I seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen the lonely times when I could not find me a friend. No pops couldn't find. But I always thought I'd see you again Won't you look down upon me, Jesus Could you help me make a stand Just gotta see me through another day My body aching, my mind is at hand Yes, it is I won't take this any other way Lord, I've seen fire, I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never, ever end I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend for Pops But I always thought I'd see you again
my mind's gonna ease the time my back turned towards the sun. Lord knows when the cold wind blows, you turn your head around. Spend a time on the telephone line, talking about things to come. Sweet dreams, flying machines, pieces all over the ground, scattered everywhere, broke up like a bitch over there, yeah. Lord, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I've seen the sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen the lonely times when I could not find my friend. But I always thought that I'd see you, baby. Whenever I see your smiling face, I got to smile myself, cause I love you. Will you give me that pretty little pot? Oh, girl, it turned me inside out. Oh, I'm thinking about you, baby. Did a friend of a man like me get feel this way? Tell me how much longer can it go stronger every day? I thought I had time a couple of times yet. I know that somebody who oh, make me feel so good. Yeah. Uh, so on and so forth. Yes, yes. Your best mashups happen right here. Oh, yes. We've done Christian music. We've done Slayer. We have Louis Armstrong doing James Taylor. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Louis Armstrong doing James Taylor. That's uh that's a, that's yeah, I'm not in my right mind tonight. No, why should I be? Um, She's walking through the cloud with a circus mind running wild. Butterflies, moonbeams, and fairy tales riding on the wind when I'm sad. She come to me with a thousand smiles she gives to me for free. It's all right. Oh, it's all right. Take anything you want from me. Anything at all. Fly on a little way Fly on a little way Oh, fly Oh, fly On a little way Take these rolling wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only 
waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Take these swimming eyes and learn to see all your life. You're only waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird fly. Blackbird fly. Into the barn. You guys want you guys have turned this into total trash now. Hey, down in Jamaica they've got lots of pretty women. Steal your money, then they'll break your heart. Lonesome Sue, she's in love with old Sam. Take from fire pan into frying pan. Make a cookie. She just keeps on trying. And she smiles when she feels like crying. On and on. On and on. On and on. Hey. On and on. Lots of Jimmy said aloud in the moonlight. Ah! Kiss another man ah Take a lot of Steal star from the sky He puts on some nacho And he starts to cry On and on He just keeps on trying And he smiles And he feels like nothing On and on It's not easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. When I think it might be nicer being red or blue or gold or purple. Something more colorful like that. It's not easy being green. You seem to blend in with such ordinary things and people just pass you over Cause you're not standing out like shiny sparkles in the water Or stars in the sky But green's the color of spring Green can be cool and friendly light Green can be big like an ocean, important like a mountain, or tall like a tree. When green is all there is to be, it can make you wonder why, why wonder, why wonder, why wonder. I'm green and it's beautiful, so I think it's what I want to. Hey, Fred! <laughs> hey, Fred, you know what? What's that, Bon? It begins to tell. Round midnight, round midnight. Hey, Fred! I do very well till after sundown. Hey, Bon! Up a time I'm feeling sad. <laughs> yeah, me too, Fred. But it really gets bad round midnight. Hey, Fred, that's when memories start. Round midnight, round midnight. Bam, bam, have it got hot. Bam, let's stand those memories. When my heart is still with you. Hey, Barn! 
Good old midnight. Ah, bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. How about him? When some quarrel we had needs mending. Does that mean that our love is in danger? <laughs> Darling, I need you. Lately, I find you're out of your heart, and I'm out of my mind, Fred. <laughs> Let love take wing. So midnight, round midnight. Let angels sing for your returning. Yes, <laughs> for cookie. Let love be safe and sound When midnight come around Me love midnight, I get glass of milk and have cookies Well, this went in directions that I didn't think it would oh you're gonna pay you'll pay thank you for hanging out tonight this was numbers night this was a blast <laughs> um i pulled out most of the stops if you have questions and such those of you new tonight uh welcome to new people that might have come from the cruise that didn't know about me and uh that i played for last night uh, yeah, this was a blast. Um, I just cutting up, having a good time. Uh, plenty of songs on this list of songs that have numbers in them that I didn't do, but I hit a lot of them. I did pretty well, actually. I hit a whole bunch of them there. Um, Mass COVID nineteen relief fund from Massachusetts is where money goes tonight. Uh, Ten percent of it, anyway. The rest of it, I'm paying some bills. Um, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Beatles and Olivia Newton John, and Thelonious Monk, all in one evening. No one is doing that. Not Susan Werner, not Ellis Paul, not Peter Moby. None of them white people are doing that. Moi, moi. Jonathan Colton, no. You don't get Thelonious Monk and Olivia Newton-John in the same night. No, you don't have that unless you come here. It's great to be here. Thanks you for. Thanks to you for... Uh, uh, it was goofy. Uh, tonight, Sarah, it's so good to hear from you. Be in touch, love. Um, Don, cousin Don. Uh, uh, no, that wasn't Yoda. Uh, Yoda would have been uh, <clears throat> around midnight. It would begin to tell. Yes, he would flip the sentences around. So, um, but uh, this was a this was a fun night. This was a fun night. I have uh, I have one piece of mail. That's all I have is one piece of mail tonight. And this is from... Uh, this is from... Uh, Mary and Paul. The, the Day Newland uh, people. And uh, uh, they first heard me perform in a, a Unitarian Meeting House in Lincroft, New Jersey, some years ago. And they became fans. They like, they love the music, and they're loving these uh, Monday night acoustic pajama parties. Well, I love them too. So, but this is a beautiful card. This card is um, uh, a portrait. She's a mix of all favorite childhood dogs from the reservation. She captures the adventure and magic of my younger days. This is really great. Um, mixed media. Uh, as Dine Navajo woman, uh, Melanie Yazzie, on, uh, grew up in Ganado, Arizona. And uh, this is her work. She's currently an assistant professor of art at the University of Arizona in Tuscan. Tuscan, Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. Tuscan. Yeah, she's in Tucson. And uh, this is a pretty fabulous piece of artwork. Thank you, um, Mary Carol and Paul. That's really nice. And that's the only piece of mail I got uh, from you people. Uh, this week, and that's fine. That's great. Uh, let's hang out for a minute. You want to chat? I got my water. I got libation. 
I'm hanging out. This is a fun, funny night. Uh, Leslie, I'm sorry you've been having a rough time. I'm glad you could join us tonight. Um, your Monday nights are mine, Leslie Hennis. That's you are, you are mine. Um, just come here. That's all you got. That's all you got to do. Scott, you the man. Uh, let's be in touch, buddy. Uh, it's good to see you. Um, I hope you're well. I hope your family's well. I hope your lovely daughter Laura as well. She's so cool. And uh, thank you for being here. Lee Heff from high school. Uh, Phil, can't wait till August till you move back into your house back here. Uh, <laughs> Peter Jergensen on the other side over here. He's called it educational TV. That's very sweet. That's really fun. Um, Polly Ford, who lives down there, uh, about five houses down. Uh, thank you for hanging out, sweetie. Uh, give your give your daughters and your and your man uh, my affection, please. You just your whole family is fine. That whole family gets up in the morning and says, "Ooh, we so fine." That whole family is beautiful. The man, the woman, all the kids. It's just like, oh, "Mom, are we fine this morning?" Yeah, baby, we fine as hell. Okay. That's a beautiful family. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to pay for that, aren't I, Polly? Uh, I already said Cousin Don. John, Teresa. Uh, you know, I shouldn't really call people out because people do. Why didn't you say my name? Uh, that's because I'm stupid. Um, this was a blast. This was so fun. It was fun for me. Um, I don't know what to do about this Joni Mitchell song. You songwriters out there, tell me what to do about uh, My Old Man, how I should approach it if I decide to do an album of all Joni Mitchell, uh, an album of Blue, like the Blue album. If you are not familiar with Joni Mitchell's Blue album, it is a quintessential, maybe even an essential, essential folk. Um, uh, it, it's, it's sort of God's word. It's like... Uh, it's what Miles Davis kind of blue was to jazz. That's what that album is for folk. Uh, oh, I'm so glad Annie stayed all night. I know she likes to go to bed at like 8 or something other. Um, yeah, Teresa, I'm glad you had a good time. Stay too long at the fair. Hey, I love that song, Karen. I'll do that some night. Um, that's a great song. I'll wish you were always asking for funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, you drive through here. Okay. Um, have one have one on one three. You're in Wyoming. That's cool. I know somebody in Wyoming. Just sing it. I sing. I just yeah. I think uh, I can think I can just sing it. I'd like to own it a little more, Nancy, than just singing it. Uh, like a case of you, I own that. That could, that's mine. I might as well have. I could claim writing it, but I get in trouble with people. But that's mine, and. Um, um, uh, yeah, you played, you did it uh, for an ASL class. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, my new songs, I, you know, I I don't know. I don't know. As soon as I get, I can get around people, and be around people, I'll think about whatever the new album is going to be. I've been talking to uh, Sam, uh, who is uh, the engineer that I work with, and we kind of engineer and co-produce, and uh, he and I are like this. And he just got his second shot. He was down for a day or two. And now he's ready to rock and roll. So sometime later in the summer, I'll be able to go over there if I have... You know, maybe I need to do another night of uh, of tunes. I think some of the tunes on this album will not be mine. Uh, because uh, Not because I don't have enough, but the ones I like and there's things I want to play out... Um, on this album that are not mine. A Room Somewhere by my friend David Goldfinger. And for some reason, I want to play One More Again by uh, D'Angelo on the resonator guitar. I just think that would be a blast. And I, it haunts me. When something haunts me like that, that's how it ends up on the album. I just... Uh, uh, it, you know, it's not all in the Joni tunings, Craig. I, I'm going to disagree with that. Um... If you can you can tune a guitar like Joni all you want, but if you sound like you gargle with ground glass, maybe you know there's got to be a different way to approach how to sing some of these songs. Um, what I probably need to do is go listen to that album that she did with Herbie Hancock. 
because uh, he does a he does a Fantasia on one of her songs. It doesn't sound like anything that the song is, and it's just so beautiful. And uh, they are like this, so I need to listen to that and see how things get uh, readapted. And uh, yeah, but John Prine, uh, yeah, he could do women's songs, but he's so vocally so far removed. I sound like a woman as it is anyway half the time. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how to approach this. I, I'm going to. I think the thing to do first, the thing I need to do first, is learn the song. And then uh, just keep playing it and see how it sits. That's what I think I'll do. I'll just learn it and, and see how it rolls. Um, no, it's just a difference in opinion, Craig. And you're not, you're, you're wrong. I'm, we just disagree. Um, yeah, yeah, you're going to get of all the tunings in the world, particularly a uh, case of you. That's on dulcimer. That's near, there's, there's a guitar in the background that Stephen Still is playing guitar in the background. <clears throat> But uh, good night, all you folks that are leaving. Good night. Yeah, definitely good night. But uh, the centerpiece of uh, of uh, a case of you and uh, all I want and uh, is Carrie on Dulcimer too? I think it is. I think Carrie's on Dulcimer too. Yeah, that's a uh, that album is. Uh, uh, John says that I am the feces. Do it. Yeah, you know, gosh, what a great, it, what a great challenge. It's such a wonderful, wonderful challenge to thrust in front of me at this point in time. I'm, uh, yeah, HEP 103, that's, uh, 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 let it become what it's going to be in your throat. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't, I guess I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the lyrics too much, but even if I mess with it, um, yeah, I, it, it could be a thing. I'll take a closer look at it. Uh, yeah, his sheriff of onward. Yeah, yeah, you should, I mean, check out this. It, it's, a, it's a lot to take. I know John Scroggins isn't wild about Joni Mitchell. Um, some people, you know, the early stuff is very you know so self-involved and very confessional and and everything else uh that that we you know that make us grit our teeth when we go to an open mic um but it's so well done um it's lyrics like um uh, well, when he's gone me and them lonesome blues collide the bed's too big the frying pan's too wide <laughs> oh my god the bed's too big. Talk about missing somebody. The frying pan's too wide. That means that she's putting food in there. It's too much space. She's cooking for one. It's amazing. It's amazing for uh, 1971. This is when it's going to I was 13. I was 13 years old. I barely had... Uh, I wasn't playing guitar for another six years. Holy crud. And I hated this music. Oh, I couldn't stand big yellow taxis. And oh, I just, I just, oh, I just I was so annoyed. And then I got into jazz. And then I looped back to Joni Mitchell. Um, and when I got to college, I, I started listening to um, her live album, Miles of Isles, which in my estimation, is one of my top three or five live albums of all time. That and Al Jarreau, Live in Europe, Look to the Rainbow, uh, Joni Mitchell, Miles of Isles, and uh, gosh, uh, everything else is a close third somewhere. I don't even know where. Um, distant third, I guess, but man, um, Miles of Isles was amazing amazing um album for me uh, groundbreaking um listening for me and uh, uh craig you came in through the jazz days yeah yeah she you know and let's be clear these uh teresa good to see you these uh people like uh 
uh, Herbie Hancock and uh, uh, the bass player that uh, was ill uh, that she did the album with Mingus. They didn't play. They didn't do that to make money. Herbie had made his money. Mingus was struggling, but Herbie, <laughs> Herbie's money had money. Herbie did Rocket. Her R O C K I T. Uh, Herbie did uh, Watermelon Man twice. Headhunters, all that stuff. He was with Miles. Herbie's money had money. Man, he didn't, but he saw, he saw and heard uh, how, you know, he knows what's up with Joni Mitchell. They're, they're like this. They're close friends. Uh, Joni and Friends night. Yeah, um, I don't do much Jackson Brown. Um, this is going to be heresy. I think Jackson Brown's songs meander. I can never really focus. I can't pull back the magnifying glass enough. To land on them, uh, the Pretender. I can never, I can never listen through it. I end up doing something else. Um, I need to put my nose at the grindstone with Jackson Brown because he is celebrated, and uh, um, uh, oh, you know the look to my rainbow, look to the rainbow uh, album, Craig uh, Algero. That was life changing for me, totally life changing. I never liked live music until I heard that album. It was amazing for me. Uh, good night, Teresa. Um, but yeah, that album was a was a turnaround for me, as was Miles of Isles with Tom Scott and the LA Express, and all those uh, great players uh, accompanying her. And then she'd take a solo turn with something with just uh, Tom Scott on saxophone, which is uh, you know. But she was solo. She was like with the dulcimer, the guitar on stage. She you know she wasn't backed up. She wasn't backed up by the band because she needed the band. She backed up by the band because it was adding um, an artistic um, aspect to what she was doing that she and Tom Scott heard. So, <sighs> no, I'm not run uh, <laughs> running on empty. Um, all right, I'll go. I'll listen to some Jackson Brown and see what the deal is. I just never, I just never wrapped around. Um, God, it's heresy. Sorry. That and uh, later Paul Simon. Just never wrap my round, mind around. Four in the morning, crapped out, yawning, longing my life away. Crapped out? Even, uh, who covered that? Um, uh, young English uh, black uh, woman covered uh, Still Crazy After All These Years. And she changed that lyric to Whacked Out, which I finally said, now it's a great song. Who sings Crapped Out? He says the word crap twice on that album. Uh, in Kodachrome, he says, who sings the word crap? I've just, um, Paul Simon annoys me. And, uh, oh, look, I got an African beat. Oh, look, I got a Brazilian beat. Um, and I don't know why David Byrne gets away with it uh, and James Taylor gets away with it and I let them slide. But Paul Simon just... He just bugs me, man. He just bugs me. Uh, don't be going to look at me for musical education. This is just opinion. Uh, um, James Taylor's Only a Dream in Rio feels like Brazilian music to me. Um, Diamonds in the Soles of Her Shoes feels like I don't know what. There, I said it. That's how, it, that's how I go, you know. But the earlier stuff was, is brilliant. Uh but the post Simon and Garfunkel stuff, the post Tom and Jerry stuff. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get a, a sack of bananas for this. Hey DD, today, today, uh, tell the lovely James that I'm gonna give him a big juicy hug and kiss when I see him. He hates that kind of thing, but he's gonna get it from me, cause I'm a man's man. <laughs> tell him I love him. Tell him I said hey. I hope he's building something. Uh, Half past two in the morning. Pan, where are you? Are you in England? Holy schmo. Yeah, Craig, I don't know. I'm your yeah, man. I don't know. I just, um, and if they, either one of them called me up and say open a tour, I'd be there. I'd dig it. I would be there. But man, oh man, I'd rather open a tour for Jason Isbell. I am working on a song called Put Your Money Where the Mic Is. 
which takes down Jason Isbell for he does a whole lot of waving his arms around about Black Lives Matter and uh, I'm going to hold him accountable for not having any uh, he hates had some people work with him black but he hasn't had me live performing I um, <laughs> um, and Drew uh, you should take note of this too I'm doing some live performing coming up on it'll be outdoor stuff uh, I've got something coming up in uh, uh, in a couple weeks in uh, New Hampshire. I've got one down on the Cape. These are all outdoor performances. And there's something in July where I'm doing a private party. That's outdoors too. Um, indoors, I'm kind of... A, yes, we can all be vaccinated and that would be a great thing and everything else. But my deal with playing indoors is until we know the arc of what these um, twists and turns of, of the virus do, then I'm still not going to be indoors. So, yeah, me opening for Jason Isbell would be, that's a natural. Me and Jason, that would be a great night. Imagine the set opening for Jason Isbell. Pie and whiskey. Uh... uh Old white men. Um, that's that too. You know what? I'm going to get five tunes, uh, maybe six, five tunes. Pie and whiskey, old white men, unfamiliar moon, good good man, and zombie patty cake. That's a slim and set. I don't care how country he is. You know that's going to be a, that would be a monster opener for him. Maybe too much. It worked with uh, it worked with the uh, milk carton kids. They loved it for a uh, four date tour, and uh, you know that would be a he could do he could do uh, he could do a a lot worse than having me open for him. So yeah, I, you know um, yeah, I just can't do the indoor thing yet, uh, even in July. I'm, we're we're looking at, um, and the woman in the other room works for the Department of Public Health, so, um, you know, so I'm not getting that. That's I'm not getting past. I could go do it, but then I'd have to come home and live in the basement. I don't feel like living in the basement for, for a week or whatever. Oh, really? Are you in Waltham, Paulina? That's cool. Awesome. Right next door. Why is it knocking you out, Craig? Well, me, uh, Jason Isbell, me open for Jason. People get this idea somebody alt country has to open for somebody alt country. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be on the Ellis Paul thing. Yeah, I just put in all my uh, pr uh, promo stuff, sent that off to his uh, management today. Oh, I bet teaching is scaring you, Hep. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's a um, a spooky thing, you know. It's not virtue signaling either. Uh, you know, people are, uh, we're spooked. You know, there's variants and they're spooky. So um, I want to see the arc of the world first before I commit to any more. That's why Monday night I'm going to be here and uh, I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep doing this because this is how I play. Uh, I'm on my game right now. I'm not memorizing stuff as readily as I'd like to. But uh, I'm playing and singing well. This is it's been great. You guys have supported me, but at the same time, I've just it's just been a great opportunity to plas to practice. Um, I don't know, Craig. I don't think those are I don't think they're different worlds. Vance Gilbert and Jason Isbell. There's a whole lot of uh, Hank Williams we could do together. Uh, a whole bunch of Jason comes from a he listened to a lot of R and B. That, that was his part of his jam, you know, rock and roll too. How do I feel about Dar Williams? I think Dar is brilliant. I think Dar is honest. Uh, I think uh, she's a show person too. Oh my God, she can put on a show. I didn't used to think so. Years ago, when I first started, we were coming up together. It's like, mm, oh, white girl with a guitar, <laughs> and I, I watched a show, and the way she constructs a set. The songs are, you. If you're listening to Dar Williams, you're going like, ah, oh, this is cool. And the next thing you know, you're weeping. He's like, what? 
what's this coming out of my eyes? What is wrong with me? That's what happens at a Dar Williams show. She's she's a goddess. She's brilliant. She is brilliant. Um, yeah, well, yeah, thank you for trusting me, saying trust myself. Um, Karen, you know where I come from with this music. You go listen to Blue. And go listen to my old man. <laughs> See? Uh, I could do it really rubato and uh, sort of like maybe having somebody play piano on it and like a Herbie Hancock thing or something. Oh my God. Hey, Kathleen. Love you. Good night. Your bag is over my shoulder, as usual. Um, Dar is your neighbor. Oh, that's why you live in New York out there. Okay, cool. Yeah, she's a she's a she's a dear. She's been good to me over the years, and uh, now we've all supported each other in this scene. Um, let me sing on stage with her at Falcon Ridge and stuff like that, and you know, backup singing. And she's a sweetie. Uh, yeah, deep red. That's cool. They, you know, I get it out there. I get it out there in Wyoming. Uh, uh, you know, I'm sure both black people that live there feel the same way. I gotta tell you, I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me there's a lot of black people in Wyoming. No, it is not. Shut up. Um, but, um, yeah, we don't have to get political here, you know. It's cool, though. It's all right. Um, I don't know if I've ever played Wyoming. Did I go through there with George Carlin or Sean Colvin? I don't remember. Um, yeah, she was a guest on, uh, Dar was a guest on Susan Werner's show. She's been on a couple times. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make of uh, my next musical, uh, you know, making the next Vance Gilbert album. That's a, uh, that's a walk in the not a walk in the park. I know, I know that I'll be able to say yay or nay to things. I can just brush things off the table and not do them or do them, or rewrite them. Um, that very wordy "He asks about you" song. I'm not sure that's going to be a song. I'll be honest with you. It's just so much, and uh, it's 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 adorable, and it it's it's working. It's it's working too hard. One of the things I will not do that I've used to do before is record songs that I can't play live. If I can't play it, I won't record it. Now, Lisa Jeanette hold me, uh, held me uh, accountable for a handful of things that, uh, like uh, First Ring off of uh, Bad Dog Buffet and December 3rd. I also don't play those. I don't play those much, but I could. But there's some stuff on the earlier albums I couldn't begin to tell you how they went. I said, oh, I need an up-tempo tune for this album. Let me throw this down. And I wasn't there. I wasn't there in it. And uh, Sean Colvin has said the same thing. She doesn't want to record. She doesn't want to go to the studio and record something that she can't pick up the guitar or sit down at the piano and play. So um, that's where I'm at with that. I, I want to be able to... Uh, be able to play what I record and that's a that's a medium high bar to reach for um, now it's a fairly high bar because I think I play for pretty well I can I can lay something out if I need to but if it's not sitting if it's not making the sound that I want and not telling the story I want uh, I'll go back to the drum I'll go back and and chew on it and chew on it and chew on it but it's like um, I don't have any metaphors for it. It's like like it's like biting on a two by four and thinking you're going to build a table by chewing on the end of the stick. It's just like no, nah, I'm just not. Some of the, some tunes, I, if I'm not feeling them, they may not even be tunes because I won't play them live either. Um, that uh, say my name. My mama at the market said you were back in town. I had to grip hold my shopping cart, keep from jumping up and down. I never play it out, so I don't even know what to make of that. I don't even know what to make of it. I even changed the uh, the chorus. Uh, 
you don't even, rather than saying, uh, rather than saying, all you got to do is say my name. I change it to, you don't even know my name, which makes it a lot more fun. And I'm still not playing it. So I don't know what to make of that. Um, I'll look at it again. Um, it's a good tune in a way. <sighs> well, it's past 930. This has been a blast. I'm just like spilling my guts with you. I'm like, I'm, this is like a, a acoustic web vomit. I'll clean it up. Um, you people rock. Uh, thank you for taking care of me. Uh, thank you for taking care of the Massachusetts COVID-19 uh, relief fund. And uh, thanks for just thanks for being in touch. Um, I appreciate you all coming out here and doing this thing. Yeah, this thing took a took a dive uh, without me.